busca la versatilidad y la eficiencia energética en las estructuras a gran escala. Arquitecto, diseñador e informático, Skylar Tibitz es director del Self Assembly Lab del MIT, donde investiga acerca de desarrollo de tecnologías de automontaje y su aplicación en la arquitectura inteligente. La idea es mirar cómo las partes se unen, cómo construimos cosas, cómo asemble cosas a escala humana. Scale and try to find new processes where materials have information and they can error correct and uh, assemble precise structures on their own. And that's a process that we find in nanotech or material science or synthetic biology. And so we're trying to find a way to translate that to the human scale, the industrial scale. Tibitz ha realizado sus revolucionarios diseños para grandes estructuras en ciudades como New York, Filadelfia, París, Berlín o Frankfurt. Sus trabajos han sido expuestos en prestigiosas galerías de arte como la Bienal de Pekín o el MoMA de New York. Our focus is more on how we can passively build things where the materials are smarter and they respond to their environment. But that also means that the buildings could reconfigure or um, kind of passively cool themselves or have have the capability to respond to the environment just naturally. Actualmente también trabaja en otros innovadores proyectos relacionados con la impresión en cuatro dimensiones, la impresión con ADN y su aplicación en la arquitectura. The idea is about combining smart materials with 3D printing uh, and four meaning time, so that when you print something, it transforms, it reconfigures, it changes shape over time. So that's one of them. We just finished a project on uh, printing DNA on paper. And so it's, it's going back to 2D printing, but the ink, uh, instead of using traditional ink, you're using DNA. And DNA is sort of like a smart ink because it can connect, um, assemble, color, uh, disappear, etc. And so you have them that they, the ink can translate based on its environment, it can reconfigure. Skylar Tibitz continúa investigando para materializar los diseños informáticos en la construcción. Probably for at least the past 10, maybe even 20 years, um, the idea of computing has flooded into the design world, into the art world, with generative design, uh, with more optimal structures. And we're trying to translate that, so we use computing in the assembly of our world.